on guys welcome back to another video i hope you guys are all doing well currently we are five and a half weeks out from our show and things just keep on heating up i am making this part of the video two days after the little montage you just saw of dylan and i training back for one of two reasons one your boy felt horrible during and after that workout and could not 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 did not could not record and number two i was busy yesterday but this is something that i was planning to do for a little while but i just felt like i just felt like i haven't endured enough problems so to say even though i still have five and a half weeks left it's been it's been ten and a half eleven weeks that we've been on prep officially so I feel like I feel like there's a lot of things that we've already encountered. And my number one goal with you guys is to be transparent. Transparency is my number one goal. If you guys don't know the full truth, then I feel like there's there's no reason for any of this. I just wanted to talk about quote unquote the dark side of prep that not many people talk about. I know some of you understand what I'm going through, whether you're going through a prep or have went through a prep and you haven't talked about it. So I did just want to take that time to talk about it. So straight off the bat, this is probably one of the most challenging things I've ever done. Not only physically, but mentally. And I think a lot more mentally than physically. Starting with the obvious, you're literally denying yourself something that you want. And I'm not saying I have no control of binge eating because that's something I was always very good with. Even, even through my bulk, I was never careless with my food options but at a certain point it almost feels like you're pushing a limit and i just feel like that's the obvious we can't work our way around it and i'm just glad to say overall 16 weeks because i did do a six week dieting phase as you guys know and these 10 and a half 11 weeks on prep i have not cheated on my diet not once only once it wasn't even really a cheat it was more of a refeed and my coach is the one who gave it to me some point at around eight weeks out my coach allowed me to go to five guys and get a hamburger with no cheese and five ounces of fries but again that was a refeed not necessarily a cheat and it did help me progress but besides that i haven't eaten anything off plan to be able to do what i'm doing right now and if you guys have done prep have done a prep or are considering doing a prep the number one thing you need is a good support system. Luckily, both my parents understand what it is that I'm doing and the effects that it can have on you physically and mentally. Same thing for my friends and everyone else that's around me, including you guys. As I said earlier, when I was recording the back day that you saw of Dylan and I before this portion, I had absolutely no drive. I had no carbs in me that day. My body didn't feel good. The pump, there was no pump at all. I had zero energy at all. You can ask Dylan, you can ask anyone that was in the gym. I did not want to go there. And one of the main reasons why I didn't flip out is because I was recording. While I was recording, somebody came up to me and they actually told me, don't forget about the army that I have behind me. And that's really what pushed me through that workout. It wasn't the best workout, but we got it done. So a good support system, I think, is number one to be able to do this. Something else I did want to bring up is having a coach. Having a coach, having Tommy here, being able to give me all my meal plans and take all the stress, all the other stress. Literally, Tommy does everything for me. I'm just the one that applies it. At the end of the day, Tommy isn't there watching me eat all my meals and do everything that I need to, making sure that all my cardio is done, that I've taken all my supplements, that I've eaten everything that I'm supposed to. At the end of the day, it is all me, but Tommy takes a major portion off off of my back. Being someone who was self-coached for the past three years, it is so much better, especially since the stress level of prep is 10 times higher and it's still high and it's still probably one of the hardest things I've done. And just having Tommy be there is such a help. So shout out to Tommy. The mental aspect of this is insane because I understood, fully understood what prep, what I would expect during prep especially it being my first prep and never doing one before. I fully knew what to expect and I knew it was gonna be one of the hardest things I did. And I've been waiting for this since I was around 15, 16 years old. But just getting up at the time that I do at the crack of dawn to go and do my 40 minutes, of, well, as of right now, it's 40 minutes. Supposedly it's getting increased soon. I'll keep you guys updated on that. But doing my 40 minutes on the stairs, it's not the greatest amount of time, because people like Dylan were doing an hour fasted. But still, just getting up early at the crack of dawn, doing fasted cardio on the Stairmaster alone. I hate that machine with all my heart, but I love it at the same time. Essentially being unhealthy because your body is not meant to endure this for a long time. That's why preps are a certain amount of time. Pushing your body to single digit 6-7% body fat is not healthy at all. Bodybuilding is not healthy. I just wanna make sure everyone gets that. So first of all, physically it's not good, but mentally it's also not good. 
you're denying yourself, as I said before, of something that you want. And no, guys, I'm not perfect. If I told you guys that I went through so far the past 15 weeks without the thought of cheating, I'd be lying. It comes and goes every day, but I remember my end goal when why I started this in the first place. There are days that I wake up and I tell myself, damn, you look horrible. I'll have no carbs. I'll say I look flat. I'm not going to do good. I'm not going to do well at all, or I'm not shredded or lean enough. I look fat. I'm not going to do well. I'll fight myself literally for hours about posting content, saying no one is going to like it, but then I finally get the courage and I post it. And then when I see all the comments, it just reminds me that my mind is playing tricks on me. Or there are days that I get up and I feel absolutely amazing. I feel like I look great. Um, and I'm just excited. I just feel like there's little things that tick me off. Like going back to posting, I would post something and I would look at all the comments, all these awesome comments. And in a way, when there's a lot of good comments, I kind of just scroll through them and like them. But when I see that one comment that's negative or isn't, or isn't good at all, that's the one comment that sticks with me in my head all day. And that's what tells me stuff. Once you start overthinking on prep, it's over. So that's something I've really been trying to work on. I've been trying to take my mind off of bodybuilding as much as I can. As much as I love it, it's a lot. It's really a lot sometimes. And I understand, and trust me, I understand. I absolutely love this, but it's a lot. So when I'm done with most things for the day or on rest days, I find it really, really hard to keep going. I just try and do other things. Recently, I've just been going on walks around my lake, getting my steps in while listening to music, listening to a podcast, nothing bodybuilding related, going out with some friends, having a good time. I've been going to the movie theaters, even though I just take my meals and still eat my meals, but just watching movies, just doing stuff that will take my mind off of it for the meantime. I feel like that's been the most beneficial thing. And this is not to discourage anyone for... And this is not to discourage anyone who's actually planning to do a prep. I think everyone who's remotely interested in the gym and working out should do a prep. Even if you have absolutely no interest in becoming a bodybuilder, I think everyone should do at least one prep just to show themselves that they can do it, show themselves the discipline, and you're going to look the sickest you've ever looked in your life. Like I said, I don't want to discourage anyone. If anything, I feel like this is encouraging and it'll help you build up your character. But I don't want to bore you guys too much and make it too much of a sob story. I just felt like that's something I wanted to get off my chest that a lot of people do not talk about and people may not be aware about. But at the end of the day, your boy is more than excited to hop on stage for the first time. It is there's five and a half, literally 40 days, I'm pretty sure. Five and a half weeks until it's showtime. And I just can't wait till it happens, honestly. I want to thank you guys, as always, for being there and supporting me. You guys are literally one of the main reasons why I keep on going. I have love for each and every single one of you guys. And I thank you all for that. Besides that, thank you guys if you made it this far watching this video. I understand it wasn't a regular type of video, but if you guys made it this far, thank you. I appreciate that. Go ahead and follow all the socials right here on the screen. And I'll see you guys in the next one.